All right, Kay, not exactly what we'd want to hear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. We've been waiting for more than two weeks, but this morning we're learning the certified results from the Iowa caucuses. The Des Moines Register reports Rick Santorum is the actual winner. After checking the vote totals from each precinct, Santorum ended up winning by 34 votes. Republican Party leaders are planning to announce the results at 8:15. However, despite the results, political followers don't think it'll make much of a difference either way. Romney has his South Carolina. Even with a 34 vote margin, it's still the closest vote there's ever been in the history of the state's caucus. Lyle's school superintendent is answering to rumors that he'll be resigning. He says they are not true. The southern Minnesota town has received plenty of attention recently, and it has to do with what's happening at their school board meetings. One of the incidents that caught the most attention took place in November when three women were carried out. But despite everything, current superintendent Jim Dusso says he will continue to do his job. The countdown is on. Minnesota lawmakers kick off their legislative session in just two weeks. Last year's session made history after budget issues led to a state shutdown. This year, legislators will tackle topics like the Viking Stadium, jobs, and tax structure and regulations. Also, the GOP is under new leadership in the Senate as Rochester Senator Dave Sengem takes over for Amy Koch. She stepped down last month. Come to the gym and work out till 7. Most kids think it's very weird. They're like, Psh, weightlifting is not a sport. And uh, yeah, it is. Okay. This Colorado teen can lift more than twice her body weight. 13-year-old Abby Watson holds eight world records and 23 American and state records. She started weight training three years ago after her dad brought her along to the gym. She's now got her sights set on the Olympics. K, eighth grade, 13 years old, and she's lifting almost 250 pounds. It's crazy. Wow, that is. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm literally speechless just watching. How strength, like the strength that she has and the determination as well. What a wonderful young woman. But yeah, I never would have thought. You think about what kind of drive it takes an eighth grade yeah. girl, a wow. teenage girl to get into the weight room every day, an hour and a half when she's there. Unreal. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Good, good for her. <laughs> yeah, good for her is right. I can't do it. <laughs> good for us, too, with the weather forecast. It's nice out there. It is really nice out there. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So, John, if I could start with you, is it surprising at all to see the eight-vote win by Romney? It's surprising to see an eight-vote win. It's remarkable. Professor Schmaltz, Rick Santorum finishing a very close second. Is that surprising to you to see him so close? You know, about a week ago, I visited with... And then, John, as a chair of the GOP, do you think Rick Santorum, is this momentum he can keep up as he goes to the East Coast? Uh, he'll certainly keep it up for the next month. I've seen there a long time. You talk about the, the eight-vote margin of victory. Professor, I talked with you about two weeks ago. You talked about how important the Iowa caucuses are because every vote can make a difference. Seems like it's never been more true than last night. Absolutely. And I think the thing to remember... John, I did want to ask you about Ron Paul because a lot of people kind of considered him almost a dark horse. He was almost a favorite in this. Is it surprising to see him third? Uh, not really. There was a lot of... It, it, you might see a few flakes out there. You know, we went all winter without seeing any snow. Now we've had two days of it, and it looks like we've just had the worst winter in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Kay. Mm -hmm. Minnesota lawmakers gather in St. Paul today for the first time since ending a 20-day government shutdown last year. But things aren't getting any easier. Democrats and Republicans are expected to butt heads over a $775 million public projects bill, and they'll debate over making Minnesota a right-to-work state, making union membership voluntary. Good news coming from one of the nation's top crime cities. Chicago hasn't seen one shooting in a full 24 hours. The Chicago PD sent out the press release yesterday. During the span, there were no shootings, stabbings, or murders. The community is crediting both police officers and community activists. And also, it takes a community... The last time Chicago went 24 hours without a shooting was almost one year ago. Well, it's not exactly everybody's favorite seafood. In fact, some fishermen can't stand the sight of them, carp. But now a processing plant for the fish is coming to Minnesota. A spokesman for KNC Fisheries says in China the carp is steamed with vegetables for the main meal, and in Poland the fish is canned with vegetables or is baked for Christmas dinner. The plant is expected to begin making food soon. Nothing like a good carp for dinner. People of Iowa deserve is to know the story, and that's that's kind of what we hope they'll do. I'm kind of hoping that maybe if the money isn't claimed, those are. Spread it out to all I of the people in the Iowa. Thing. and Maybe we can just, just give it to a few of us Iowans. Yeah. Not a bad idea, no, I don't think. Not at all. <laughs> well, after an inappropriate relationship with a Senate staffer led to her dismissal, State Senator Amy Koch says she will not run for re election. And after spending weeks in